Coach, what, what kind of attributes, mental and physical, do you look for, do you think would, would actually make the ideal quarterback? You know, um, intelligence is a very big part of it. You know, you want to have someone who's very intelligent, who can really know the game of football and want to know the game of football. You know, that's something I think, you know, nowadays you, you, a lot of kids, you know, you want them to want to have a, you know, a commitment to learning the game of football, which is a big part of it. Um, obviously, arm strength is a big part of it. You know, nowadays in today's game, you always want a kid who's athletic enough. If Lamar Jackson were talking to Juwan Pass, and they probably had this conversation, mm -hmm. what would he tell him about you, being coached by you? Um, he probably, you know, would tell him that um, I'm gonna, he's going to know what to do. You know, he's going to know what the plays are. He's going to know what to do. Um, I'm tough on him, but I'm fair. You know, I, I, I feel like I have a good relationship with all my players. Um, and that I have a really, you know, good understanding of, you know, how they learn and, you know, how to teach them the offense. What, what persuaded you to eventually become a coach? Obviously, it's in your blood, but it's still a decision, mm -hmm. nonetheless. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was probably when I was really young. I mean, um, like third, fourth grade, um, just, you know, being around my dad and my uncle and, you know, because they were together for so long. And, uh, I mean, I was just always at practice, always involved with everything. So, I mean, I knew from a very young age what I wanted to do. Coach, you hear a lot of talk about making Lamar more of a uh, uh, pocket passer. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, you got to walk a fine line because he's very good at, at getting out of the pocket and making plays happen. So what do you do? How do you walk that line? Well, I mean, it, I, it is a thin line because, I mean, there, there's certain times where he needs to stay in the pocket cause let, and let the play develop. And, you know, when he was really young, he would, one little thing would flash in his vision. He would just go. And I thought he got better at it last year. But, you know, part of it is letting, you know, like I said, letting the plays develop down the field and not getting freaked out by one little thing and getting through his progressions, which will really help him out. Um, you know, but then there's also the part where you got to let him be who he is and let him use his legs and his athletic ability and, you know, go and get 30-yard runs.